Hi, I'm Joe Flum with Nature's Liquid Fertilizer. I'm their Northeast U.S. sales agronomist, and today I'm going to be covering our K-Flex product. Um, our K-Flex product is an 00196, 19% 19 potassium and 6% sulfur. It's derived from potassium thiosulfate and potassium acetate, um, which makes it a Bio-K product in our lineup. Uh, Bio-K is uh, our potassium acetate. Acetate is very special because um, the acetate is an organic acid and it's a natural plant metabolite as well. So we see a tremendous amount of agronomic advantages when we apply this to the plant. And uh, today I'm going to be focusing either on a 2x2 two two or a uh, side dress application using a UAN as our carrier. Now UAN is urea ammonium nitrate. And uh, so what we have to worry about is potassium nitrate. Anytime we add a potassium source into UAN, we have the potential risk for precipitating out potassium nitrate. And what I'm going to illustrate here um, in these examples, um, I'm going to have salt out of potassium nitrate and then I'm going to show the proper recommendation ratios of adding our K-Flex into UAN where we have no uh, precipitation or no salt out. Um, and that's important because we can't pump solids. When we, uh, when we have something salt out, we have a solid that falls to the bottom or a solid in the solution. Therefore, we can't pump that. That plugs lines, that plugs hoses, orifices, pumps, you name it. Um, so with that being said, we've did a tremendous amount of research and compatibility studies on UAN with this. So with that being said, we're going to uh, go ahead and add our uh, 1 to 9 ratio. What I'm using here is a 30 percent nitrogen um, UAN solution. And then uh, this is uh, our K-Flex product. And uh, this is a 1 to 9 ratio. And I will go ahead and add this. And uh, we'll see that uh, it keeps a very nice solution. We have nothing that precipitates out. And we'll give it a little time here. I'll go ahead and add the rest at different ratios. Here we have our K-Flex product. And... Um, our UAN solution. Now for the sake of time I've already pre-measured all of these so I'm using 10 milliliters of the UAN solution and 5 milliliters here. This was uh, about a 1.1 to get our uh, 9 to 1 the, the, pre the first one I did here. So what we have here is a 2 to 1 ratio and I'm going to add these and we will uh, we'll most definitely see some something precipitate out of this one. And we'll give that one a little bit of time here. Now, uh, the next thing I'm going to use is K-Thio. It's pretty popular in the countryside. It's kind of, it's uh, been commoditized and um, it's, it is a relatively uh, good potassium source, but it does has, have its limitations. And uh, this being one of them here. So this is actually a one-to-one. -one. And I'm doing this uh, at a one-to-one -one ratio just to show you what happens when it does salt out, what it looks like. And so with uh, adding that, I don't know if we can see, but we should start to see something salt out of this almost immediately. Um, we'll give this um, a little bit of time. We'll probably give it about a minute here. And um, we'll jump back in and I'll uh, show you what these test tubes look like. So it's been about one minute and um, I'm going to go ahead and show you what we have. So this is our one-to-one uh, -one of our K-Thio and um, our UAN solution. And I don't know if you can see this, but we can start to see it looks like there's some snow in there and some, uh, some crystals that are starting to form. And that solution will eventually crash given enough time because it's already starting to fall. I can see a large, uh, a large chunk starting to fall right to the bottom right there. Um, the next is going to be our 2 to 1 K-Flex of UAN, and you can already see that it's, it's, uh, we have some crystals forming on the bottom. Doesn't look like it's uh, forming in the solution as rapidly as the K-Thio. And then next we have our 9 to 1. And um, our 9 to 1, I clean the bottom off here. The 9 to 1 looks really clear. Um, this looks like a really good solution. And this is why we make this recommendation of uh, the ratio 
given what UAN solution you're using, whether it be a 28%, a 30%, or a 32%. Um, we'll kind of keep going back on. Um, I do want to talk about doing uh, some jar testing. Um, and this is, this is a little more elaborate of a jar test because um, everything was, I used this little syringe to measure everything out um, using a, the K-Thio product. Uh, our K-Flex product, but it doesn't have to be that elaborate. We can use, uh, like these right here, I picked these up, $10, $15. Um, I've got all kinds of various sizes here, um, using this here. Um, but all we have to do um, when it comes to jar testing and why it's so important, if we're dealing with thousands of dollars of, of fertilizer, uh, we have the potential to ruin it if we're not paying attention to what we're doing. A lot of, a lot of uh, growers don't really like to jar test. They, you know, they trust that the manufacturer did that. But when it, when it comes to nature's products, you know, our products are very reactive. They are specifically formulated to go into the plant. Um, they're almost 100% plant available. All of our Bio-K lines, up are, they are 100% available. So that means that there's going to be some reaction taking place if you use a product from another company and add it into it. Uh, when it comes to our micronutrients, we formulated our micronutrients to be compatible across the board with all of our products. Um, that goes to that goes uh, for like crop protection products as well. Not all things can can be happy in a solution together. So you know, like if you you have a five gallon, if you're doing five gallon in furrow of a nature's product, say our uh, triple option of a four thirteen seventeen one. Um, you look at the uh, five hash mark. As long as it, you, you fill it up to five, that's going to be a, a pretty good representation of what you're actually putting in your tank. That's all you have to do. It's just a little bit of math. Um, you don't even have to go with these. You can, you can use a measuring cup. You can use a water bottle. You can get pretty close with a water bottle. We know that these are about 16 ounces, um, 17 ounces, somewhere around there, but you can... Um, Use a Sharpie marker and make hash marks, your halfway point, your other halfway point, and you can get a pretty good ratio um, just using a simple water bottle. <clears throat> so what happens if we, we notice an issue? Well, that means that we're not going to be compatible. If, if we're using something like this that isn't, ex isn't as exact, you know, then uh, we see an issue, we might want to delve in a little farther and, and maybe use something a little bit more precise. Um, but even at that, if we notice an issue, we want to uh, pull something out. There's obviously something that's not compatible. And remember, if, if it's not compatible and we don't end up having a true solution, something's going to plug our hoses, our lines, our tips, or whatever we're using to meter this onto that acre, uh, pumps. Um, therefore, you can have loss of product um, because you can, if, if you're putting it through a planter, you can be planting, your pump plugs up, you don't even know it um, unless you have really good metering systems and you can see. Um, but even at that, even if you see it, it's going to take a large amount of water to flush everything out. So we want to keep this from happening. So back, going back to the jar testing, we, we got a jar test. If there's any doubt whatsoever, we have to jar test. So let's go back and take a look at our um, uh, potassium and UAN solutions here. So uh, this is our K-Thio and uh, our UAN at a one-to-one -one, and it's, it's still forming crystals in the solution and it's falling to the bottom. That right there won't pump. That will uh, that'll mess some stuff up. Our uh, two-to-one, we can, we can see that we have crystals in the bottom. This is the K-Flex, but this is why we, we recommend a, a specific ratio of uh, K-Flex to UAN. And here's our, our nine to one. And our nine to one is still looking very clear. No solids, nothing precipitating out. Um, might be a little water on the outside. But yeah, see, look at that. There, there's nothing in that. It's a very good product when used at the proper rate. And we won't cause any mechanical issues. Um, with that, um, I wanna thank you for your time. And uh, I hope uh, everyone can take something away from this and we can uh, do some jar testing or you can call your nature's rep and I'm sure they'd be happy to come out and do some jar testing for you. Um, everybody needs to have a safe spring and uh, thank you once again.